are looking at chronological order, a study in text structure. Well, that's a stupid beginning. Let's try again. Today, we're looking at chronological order, specifically the text structure and the graphics you can find it in. So chronology is the order in which things happen. It's time related and is sometimes called time order. You see it in social studies texts, timelines, graphs, and narrative storylines from both films and books. In the trailer from The Truman Show, you don't see every element, but the example of the movie is following one man's life from birth straight through. And the movie does go chronologically. We literally see the baby as an embryo all the way through the end of the film when he is an adult man with a job and a wife contemplating babies and things. Um, actually leaves the television show. You could look at most films and most books seem to have chronology to them. It's a natural order of progression. So how do you find an example? Mainly you're looking for those signal words, the signposts that are built into a writing. Certain words um, you will see in other types of text structure, first, second, third, and those of course can progress. Initially, then, next, afterward, finally. But then you also see adverbial phrases, words that describe verbs, as the sun went down, when we got up, or other time words such as time, in the morning, phrases like that. So here we have a text that shows us chronology in action. School has increased in its difficulty over the years. In the past, kindergarten was carefree. All I had to do was finger paint, crafts, daily nap time, which gave me the rest I needed. During my elementary years, math went from adding and subtracting to multiplication and division, and while I also studied states and capitals. After that came junior high with its more advanced math, which also strengthened my independent study skills. Recently, high school has been most difficult. My responsibilities have gone from nap time to chemistry equations. School has been had a huge part in helping me plan for the future. Now, if I were to highlight those signal words, you can see that not all of them are simply one word. In the past, that's an adverbial phrase, but it gives us a time place, just the same as during my elementary years. It's a time. After and recently are other time words that we happen to see as signposts or signal words frequently in chronology texts. But you also see chronology in certain types of graphics, the first of which is timelines. Um, and this one here, you see it's very illustrated, it's got dates, it's got lots of pictures, and of course you've all seen the very boring stick-like timeline. But a timeline is an event ordered, arranged in time order. Each marker is a significant event, and it's a great strategy for you as a note taker. Here is an image of a physical, actual real life timeline that covers 15 years of history um, in Sweden. Very neat little idea, but also that timeline is a real piece of history that you can see in 3D. So how do you read a timeline for the most essential and helpful information? Here are the steps. One, first read the title. Next, identify a question that the timeline can help you answer. So here's our example timeline. And a question you could answer is, what are two important events of women's suffrage? Next, take time to evaluate what's on the timeline. This is gonna help you understand the importance of the events. Also, as your next step, look at the beginning and end dates of the timeline. Often the span and cutoff are important, and you may have questions over these. Finally, as you read the timeline, think about how the effects one event may have on another. Timelines offer a glimpse on how one event may cause others. Frequently, time is a cause-effect type of order, and you can see that even on a timeline. Also, we see chronology in certain tables. These organize information into categories and allow us to compare event information over time. So, for instance, if you were leaving the Market Street Station and you needed to be at Airport Boulevard and 40th by 7.15, what time would you need to leave? Tables um, offer us an ability to read also. When you first read a table, look at the title and any captions. Then look at the headings for different columns so you know what is being compared and how it's being measured. Make sure you know what each column contains. 
Use your finger to help guide you up and down a column and row of data. Find the column you want, then go down it to the row you want, then move across the row to find the information you need. In the end, you should be able to find what information you need quickly. The next piece of chronology that we see in graphics are line graphs. And these show patterns and relationships between types of information or groups. It helps you build a visual informational picture in a way that words can't. And of course, the way to read a graph, you may have learned this in math, is that you're going to look at the two different data times. So a line graph expresses the relationship between the different data over time. A line graph shows the changes in patterns and it is especially good at showing small changes or pattern changes at one time. The steeper the line is, the faster the rate of change. So you can look between the two axes and you can see the time and the change. Remember that you're looking for those dots on the main graph to help you see where the time has met. To use a line graph best, read one axis and then the next. Find the first row of information you need. Use your finger across until you meet up with the next column and axis of information. Because you're looking at creating these things, here's two resources you may find helpful. They're both interactive websites. The first will help you make timelines, and it goes all the way through creating a timeline heading all the way straight through of adding your information. For the tables and graph website there, you have a variety of different sites that you can pick, types of tables, types of graphs, um, and it plots the information in different and more interesting ways. If you have additional questions about chronology, please contact your teacher.